Today let's learn how to create some stylish and cool looking slideshow animations in After Effects. Boom! Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this really cool stylish looking slideshow animation in After Effects which is actually inspired from one of the video hype template to which I'll provide the link in the description so make sure to check him out. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects, so let's go ahead and create a new composition. This is gonna be our image or you can also use a footage so you can name it whatever you want to. I'm gonna name it image 1920 1080. Let's make this 30 frames and 10 seconds should be good enough and hit OK. Then we can just drag our image into our image com and my image is relatively pretty big so I'm just gonna scale this down like so. Yep, that looks good let's create a new com and this is going to be our main composition so i'm going to name it main 90 new 1080 30 frames and 10 seconds and hit ok then i'm going to drag in my image composition into our main comp so now we can go ahead and start you know cutting up the shapes and creating some really nice parallax so i'm going to go and do pretty randomly you can go ahead and create any kind of shape that you want to so for now I'm just gonna just select this layer and maybe I'll just select my pen tool and create a random shape maybe something like a triangular look so maybe I'll create something like this a triangle just a little bit like so then we can just duplicate the image by hitting ctrl D on the keyboard hit M to bring down the mask and just delete this then we can create a different shape so maybe something like that something like that and you can always you know adjust these things so you can just adjust it like so yep that is looking actually pretty good and you can again duplicate it now you can go ahead and keep on duplicating and create you know number of shapes number of different shapes you know some really cool stuff so i'm just gonna create three to four shapes but it depends completely on you how complex you want to make so i'm just gonna select the first layer select the pen tool and create a shape something like that there we go maybe i'll just right over here drag it a bit right over there maybe right over here yep there we go so then I'm going to duplicate it one more time and this is going to be our base shape. So let's make this red so we know that it's our base shape. You can probably rename this as well. I'm going to bring this down, hit M to reveal the mask and just delete it. So this is going to be our base shape. Then I'm going to select one of the shapes that we created and add a drop shadow to it. So you can see if I just hide the mask, you can see we have a little bit of drop shadow. So let's go ahead and play around with some settings maybe i'll just increase the distance to something like that give it a softness and try to keep it in the center like so so yep that looks pretty good then i'm gonna select it hit ctrl c to copy it select the layer hit ctrl v to paste it up and ctrl v to paste it up on this layer and you need to probably rotate it and you know try to place it in the center so the edges get revealed like so maybe i'll just decrease the distance a bit yep that looks pretty good and the same with this layer as well maybe i'll just keep it right over here decrease the distance and yep that is looking pretty nice all right so far so good then what i'm going to do is i want to make all the layers 3d create a new camera 35 millimeters should work good and hit ok create a new null object and make it 3d and pattern the camera to a null object then i'm going to switch to top view and bring out the shapes a bit forward so that we can create the parallax look so maybe i'll keep it somewhere around there 
So the second one, keep it somewhere on there. So the first one, keep it somewhere on there. Then I'm gonna go to active camera. So now you can see it looks kind of a scaled up, but it looks really cool according to me, I'll say. And maybe I'll just place it somewhere on there. Okay, then you can select the base layer and I'm gonna scale this up a bit. So maybe around there, maybe 130. Yep, that looks pretty good. And now you can see if I just position, play around with the position, you can see we get this really nice parallax effect. See, it looks pretty cool. Then we can hit Control Shift H to hide the control layers. And now we can go and animate our shapes. So to do that, I'm gonna go to let's say one second and 15 frames, I guess. Yep, that looks pretty good. And select all the three shapes. Hit P to bring down the position properties. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Go to very beginning, and then select this layer. Hit Control Shift H so you can see the control layers and maybe I'll just drag this up like so all right so I'm gonna select the second layer and then just drag this down like so select the third one and just drag it like so maybe somewhere around there so we have this really simple animation so we can just select keyframes hit F9 to ease them go to graph editor and just drag it just like so so now we have a really nice and simple looking animation then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a little bit of animation to the background as well so make sure you select the background that is a base layer select the pen tool and you can create absolutely any shape that you want to I'm just gonna keep it rectangular just to follow the design so I'm gonna do something like that we do a little bit of ad adjustment like so duplicate it by hitting ctrl D select the last layer hit M to bring down the mask properties and just invert it up like so then I'm gonna select both the layers hit P to bring down the position properties go to one second click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe go to very beginning and then just drag them out so I'm gonna select this one just drag it out like so select this one and just drag it out like so now you can see we need to fix this so we can just select the points like so and just stretch them out like so select this and just drag it out there we go so now we have something like that you can see looks pretty cool and just select them that kind of easy ease them, go to graph editor and do the same stuff. So now we have something like that. Now I want my images or my shapes to start a little bit later than my background layer. So I'm going to displace them by let's say 10 frames. So now we have something like that. Maybe I'll add a little bit of blur to the background just to make it, you know, a bit cool. You can say this blur. Bring it right over here and add a camera lens blow maybe set this to 8 yep that looks pretty good we hide the control layers and you can see we have something like that looks pretty nice then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of stroke accent over this shape or you can put it around every shape so to do that, I'm going to select my layer, that is this one, you can just solo this up so you can see it more properly and add a stroke. Now I'm using the built-in stroke effect into After Effects, so I'm going to leave it at 2. Maybe I'll increase the brush hardness to all the way up to 100 or maybe just set this up to 0 so we get really nice feathered edges. Then I'm going to go and decrease the spacing to 5%. And change the color to whatever you like. I'm gonna set this to kind of red because our subject is mainly red color, so I'm gonna set this to something like that. It's pretty cool, you can see. Give a little bit of really nice accent to it. You can just hit Ctrl C and copy it on every shape and make it look really really nice. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it to one shape. Then I'm also gonna animate the stroke. So to do that, I'm gonna go to right over here, 
maybe on there and create a keyframe on the end properties by setting this to zero by putting it to zero go to let's say somewhere around there two seconds and put this up to 100 so now we have this really nice stroke animation you can always go ahead easy ease them there we go now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to let's say five second select the null head to bring down the position properties and oh before that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the very beginning of the comp create a keyframe on the position go to five seconds and drag it out to create kind of a parallax effect like so maybe a bit down also but like that so now you can see we have a really nice parallax effect maybe a little bit more so you can see you get this really nice looking parallax effect now you can go ahead and add your text as well so let's say i select my text tool and type in creative photography you can type in whatever you want to like that make it bold maybe or make the photography bold maybe yeah that looks good so now i can just place it where you want to so let's say i want to place it somewhere around there and i'm going to pattern this up to my second layer that this one now we have something like that you see it looks pretty cool yep that is looking really really nice so it's really simple and easy to create and i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to stay raw stay creative